As it is December, I thought a very special video was in order, with some photos and video of the 2003 Winter Wonderland at the Millennium Dome, in London. Organized by Knotts and Darby showman Elliot Hall, Winter Wonderland at the Millennium Dome featured some of the newest, and biggest rides in the country at the time, as well as some rides from abroad. Entry to the Millennium Dome was £10 a person, with a ride wristband being an additional £10. The indoor event was open featuring the Cheeky Girls and Blazon Squad live on TV. Winter Wonderland featured a high-profile lineup of rides, including Michael Wallace Jr.'s Vertigo Fabry Booster, Johan Heinzen's Hus Magic, M&D's Wave Swinger, Tsunami, Big Apple, Giant Wheel, White Water Log Flume, Shane Rowland's Rock and Roll Dodgems, Elliot Hall's own Top Buzz 2, Michael Wallace Sr.'s Gallopers, Vertical Shot Reverse Bungee of Michael Roper, William Thurston's Twister and Joey Noyce's Froggit. Winter Wonderland ran from the 6th, until 31st of December 2003, where it was planned to finish with a New Year's Eve party. The New Year's Eve party was cancelled due to a planned London Underground strike, which was later called off. Despite this Winter Wonderland attracted around 250,000 visitors and was considered a big success. The following year in 2004, Stuart Robinson and Roger Tooby of International Fun Fairs, who organized the massive Leeds Valentine's Fair, were going to take their event down to London, and do a massive indoor fair in late February 2004, but this never happened in the end. Although this winter wonderland would never be repeated, when Power did their winter wonderland, they would try the indoor concept themselves in 2009 which again only lasted one year. <music>
Standing 140 feet tall, the Fabry Mega Drop Tower was the must-have tall extreme thrill ride of the late 1990s and early 2000s, before Fabry introduced the booster. In December 2002, Shaw Wallace acquired the drop zone from Lars Vinter of Nordisk Tivoli of Denmark, although the ride would not open until Leeds Valentine's Fair in February 2003. The drop zone was not the first Fabry Mega Drop to open at the Millennium Dome, as Elliott Hall had presented one as part of the Millennium Dome experience in 2000. Over the years, Drop Zone would do many of the major fairs across the UK and Ireland, including Nottingham Goose Fair, Hall Fair, and Newcastle Hoppings. In 2009, Shaw Wallace would sell the ride to Michael Wallace Jr., Wood would also travel the ride for a short time, opening at many major fairs, including Oxford St. Giles, before selling the ride to Pleasure Wood Hills in 2012 where it still operates to this day. Maddie and Douglas Taylor were at the height of their game in the 2000s. In 2003, they made a multi-million pound investment in three new rides. While the first, the Fabry Eclipse, the first Fabry contact would not open here in London, but on Market Street in Edinburgh for the Hogmanay celebrations, their giant wheel and tsunami, which were also new in 2003, would open at the Millennium Dome. In total, M&Ds presented the Giant Wheel, Big Apple Coaster, Tsunami, Log Flume, and Wave Swinger. The Wave Swinger usually spent its time in the M&D theme park in Scotland, but it did occasionally come out to fairs and events, including Edinburgh, Glasgow, and Hull. Tsunami was one of a trio of rides new to M&Ds in 2003. The inverted coaster was built by Pinfari of Italy, and was new for the Seville April Fair in Spain that spring. It would go on to Cordoba next, before two fairs in France in the summer, before opening at Hull Fair 2003. As the biggest traveling coaster in the country in 2003, Tsunami would be one of the headline rides at Winter Wonderland. Tsunami had a height of 66 feet, a track length of 1,148 feet, a top speed of 38 miles an hour. The layout featured a twisting first drop, two inversions and a helix. The Tsunami traveled on 11 trailers, and would also open at Nottingham Goose Fair, and Belfast Funderland the following year, in 2004. At the time, the Fabry Booster was one of the tallest, and fastest rides on the fairground. With M&Ds getting the first version in April 2001, many others followed, thanks to its one-trailer design. Michael Wallace Jr. got vertigo earlier that year, in March 2003, this was the second Fabry Booster in the family, with high speed coming the year before. This on-ride video is unique, as you don't see many 130-foot tall rides placed indoors. One interesting fact with Vertigo is that it pulled on to Nottingham Goose Fair in 2004, but never opened there. The Vertigo still travels around England now with showman Scott Holland.
originally there were plans for a few European rides to visit, including a top spin and breakdance from Germany, as well as a magic from the Netherlands. Although the top spin and breakdance cancelled, the magic of Heinzen, and the bungee of ropers did come over, which were both from the Netherlands. The Heinzen magic was the first of its kind to open in the UK, and proved popular with the Winter Wonderland public. Heinzen, would become a regular attendee of the Hyde Park Winter Wonderland with the Haunted Mansion, and would return to the Millennium Dome as a part of the O2 Winter Wonderland in 2009, with both the Haunted Mansion and Magic. The Magic, was a popular high-capacity ride built by Huss of Germany, with at least 15 examples being built in the late 1980s and 1990s.